Ladies and gentlemen, Governor Peterson. Commonplace uh, to roll up to, you know, go down to the 
Guilford Church and listening to Rudolph Serpent hang away on a piano. And uh, I just figured every town had a Rudy Serpent. <laughs> and if Rudy didn't do it for you, you could go and listen to Peter Serpent. He was a young kid, but he wasn't bad on the piano. <laughs> and if you didn't like piano, you know, if you were more like Sharon, and the cello turn you on. You could go up to Marlboro and listen to some no-name performers like Pablo <laughs> Casals. I'm not kidding. These are the folks that were here in Wyndham County and the people that paved the way for our four awardees and all of the other Wyndham Countyites that are making art all over this great county. And you know, if that wasn't your thing, music, you could have done the arts. You know, up in Putney, this is where Jim Dine got his start. That's right, he was making prints and hearts and doing all kinds of great things in his studio. And if that didn't do it for you, you could, you know, dig up Wolf Calm, paint your way up in the hill here in West Broadway. And all over this county, the creative thing has been happening for many, many years. But the beauty of tonight is that we have four thriving artists who we have all known and loved and appreciated for a long time, but recognize that to be successful, to feel in their hearts like they're maintaining their artistic dreams, that they got to live and create right here. And what that creates for us all is a what divides Vermont from the rest of America. It means strong downtowns where the arts are a vital part of commerce and job creation. It means that we're in a latches instead of a big box development somewhere. It means that our downtowns become the jewels where we communicate with each other and care about each other and take care of each other. And Alex just mentioned that this building, like so many are that are on this street and across this county, went underwater in Irene but because of the glue that holds us together and because of our commitment to each other, it means that we take care of each other and neither fire nor flood will slow down our ability to ensure that our downtowns are the heart of our core and the arts are the brain of what moves us. So it's a real honor for me to be able to be here for these awards. Uh, one thing that happens to you when you're a governor is that they make you make five stops in a night when you'd like to make one. And this night's no different. So I just wanted to be here to launch these awards tonight. It's a real privilege to be able to be here. And you're going to hear a lot more about Karen and Archer and Sharon and Stephen later. But I just want to say a couple of words, very briefly, about each of them. Because I think these points might not be made. You're going to you know, hear what they, what, they, what they tell you. But I'm going to tell you what I know. <laughs> now, Karen Hess, we stole her from Maryland. Now, you can understand that. If you lived in Maryland, you'd move here, too. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, I would argue, that Karen didn't really meet her creative potential until she came to Vermont. That's the truth. And now she is one of the finest writers that you can possibly read. So it's a real honor to be here with Karen and to watch her evolve uh, as she has uh, producing novel after novel that will move you deeply. Archer made it. When I was in the Senate 15 years ago, I got a call from Archer. Archer said, I'm writing as Joe Gunther's going to Montpelier. I said, well, leave me at it. <laughs> no, he didn't. And he said, in fact, he said, I want to move in with you. <laughs> and I said, well, can you cook? <laughs> so we did the Archer thing, and I moved him into the house. And I told him every secret I knew about Montpelier with one promise. I, nor anything about me, 
would show up in that one of his 23 Joe Gunther endeavors. He broke his promise, I can't lie. <laughs> but Archer's made us proud for many, many years, and how he continues, not only to be such a creative and extraordinary mystery man, but also to do the other things he does in his life. You know, Archer, he's this deputy sheriff. I'm always afraid he's going to run for sheriff, because then he might run for governor. <laughs> But there's other great things that he does. He works uh, right now with the victims' kids who are victims of sexual and, and physical abuse. And uh, there isn't, he also works for me, by the way, he works for the health department. He's not the kind of guy you want to see on state business <laughs> because you're likely to be much colder than you are right now. But he does work for us and he does great work. But I just want to say Arthur's a, uh, a valley treasure. And uh, he kicks up their new thing and kicks out the novels. They're extraordinary and we're honored to award this award to you as well. Uh, to Sharon, you know, Sharon Robinson uh, found us also a little later in life, but she knew that we had some of the greatest cellists, of world-class cellists that have spent a lot of time in this county. And Sharon has played with every orchestra at Saint Symphony as well as a number of smaller groups almost everywhere in the world. But there is no finer cellist than Sharon Robinson. And Sharon, we're delighted that you're here with us, teaching our kids and letting us be a part of your life. And the Stephen Stearns, my God, I mean, really, you all know the story there. The best clown in the world. The most creative clown in the world. But he has created, in the New England Youth Theater, a place for all young Vermonters and New Englandites, from all walks of life, not just those who can afford it, but from all walks of life, to find their creative talent and carry it through. I've had a daughter who was a part of the New England Youth Theater. So that what he takes is a kid that's eager, and what he produces is a kid with confidence and a vision for creative talent. It is truly extraordinary. He's done a lot of other things too. But I just want to say to these four awardees, let's give it up to the Vermont Arts Council for having the vision to pick four of the best creative talents that they could find, not only in the state of Vermont, but all over America. It's great to be here today. we've ever had two. And I didn't know when I ran for governor that I'd get to have my picture taken so many times. But since I gotta sneak out, you're gonna get to see what governors do all day long. So come on, Carolyn Wesley, our cultural attaché, come on out, get from the right. There we go. And who else got a camera? I just want to get a picture of these folks. Let's hear it for the arts in Vermont that we will support. Thank you to our sponsors for making this possible, to all of you for being here. And while we can take pictures, you clap or scream or do whatever you want to do. Thanks so much.